Good morning. Welcome to lesson 13 of the course Introduction to Rapid Application Development using SQL Server and ASP.NET Maker and Benjamin Fadino. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to create a relationship between accounts and transaction tables. So as, as usual, we first of all ensure that our SQL Server service is running. Yeah, the Bukolo instance is running. We are good. So now I'm going to search for Manime Studio and I click on it. Starting now, starting now, it's come up. So now this time around, I'm going to connect using SQL Server authentication. I click connect. In one of the earlier lessons, I created relationship between account table and account type table using database diagram. I'm still going to go the same route. I'm going to use the same method to create relationship between uh, the account table and the transaction table. So I'm going to expand my bank DB. I have one database diagram. I'm going to create another one now. So this time around, I right click on database diagram, I say new, and then I select new database diagram. I'm going to select accounts table as the first table that will participate in our relationship. And I'm going to select transactions table as the second table that will participate in our relationship. I click add, then I click close. Then I'm going to, to drag. Sorry, excuse me. Let me put the table here first of all. So I'm going to drag from the primary key column in accounts table, that is the account ID column, to the account ID column in transactions table. I've already explained the theory behind this in one of my earlier lessons. So drag and drop an account ID. I click OK. I click OK. Then the last stuff I need to do is to save uh, the database diagram. So I go to File. Click on Save Diagram 0. Say REL underscore accounts underscore transactions. The following tables will be saved to your database. Do you want to continue? Say yes. Now, this tutorial series is meant for beginners. So uh, I'll not be concerning myself with authentication and the likes uh, in this tutorial. So uh, in the in the next lesson, we are going to kickstart how to develop an ESP.NET Core MVC application that will that we interact with the database schema that we have just developed. Thank you.